Hi guys, my name is Alicia and today I'll be talking about travel acne and how to deal with an acne breakout while you are traveling. This is something I experienced when I was living in Mexico City for a few months. I had one of the worst acne breakouts I've had in years. Acne has always been something I struggled in, um, especially during my teens and early 20s. So I understand how frustrating that can be. And when I was in Mexico City, both of my cheeks were filled with so many pimples on each side. My skin was really inflamed and irritated. And I was just like, what is going on? Um, so I want to share some of the products that I used to help heal my skin and potentially help someone who might be going through something similar. So let's get into it. I firstly want to talk about how important it is to be kind and gentle with yourself during this transition. Your skin is going through a breakout and this is not in your control to a certain extent and your skin is just doing its thing so it's just best to be kind with yourself and understand how frustrating it can be. This will not last forever, this is just temporary and to know that your beauty radiates from inside out and this acne breakup does not define how beautiful you are. You are beautiful and this is just something that your skin is going through could be due to many factors so it's really important to keep that in mind and also do not let it limit you from experiencing a new culture in your city and meeting new people still go out there go out explore and immerse yourself in the culture and the place that you are and do not let these pimples on your face limit you from doing that because it does not define who you are so please remember that <laughs> There's so many reasons why one can break out while traveling. Uh, your body is definitely more sensitive when you are in foreign environments and you know there's so many travel related stressors that could contribute and lead to a potential breakout just like um, your lack of sleep or the changes in one's sleep schedule and also travel can be stressful and when it comes to baggages, delayed flights or all that stuff um, which makes travel stressful and like long lines not sure if you will make your flight on time so all those things can increase your chances of having a breakout even um, the place you are exploring and the air quality and pollution levels can also contribute to that just because there can be dust and debris in the air which can also impact your skin and lead to an increase in um, oil production that can lead to a breakout and that is also similar for when you're entering a different climate such as like coming from a hot to a humid tropical climate your skin is more prone to sweating um, so definitely can increase the chances of oil production which can lead to a breakout and another factor is also food so there's like changes in your diet especially when you are exploring a new place and you want to immerse yourself in the culture by trying all different types of food um, also sweets so definitely that's something to be mindful of when you are deviating from your normal diet and introducing new foods that you may not usually eat and also the often consistency of how much you are eating out so that is one thing that can really take an impact on your skin and just the overall appearance of it as well just the food you are consuming and it's super important um, to stay hydrated you know flying can also lead to hydration levels to be low so it's super important to make sure that you are drinking lots of water when you are flying and traveling and exploring that you are fully hydrated and energized for your travels. So some of the products that I used to help peel my skin when it was breaking out when I was traveling are products uh, that were dermatologists recommended and some that I've been using for a very long time and one that I really recently discovered. I just want to put out of how important it is to consult with your dermatologist or doctor before you introduce any new skincare product into your routine just to make sure that it's for you and your skin type and 
will best suit your skin. Uh, you wouldn't want to further aggravate something, so it's really important to check with your doctor before you do introduce anything new. So one of my favorite products that I found in Mexico City was this face mask by Kiehl's. I love face masks. Um, it definitely helped reduce my inflammation, also just increase the texture of my skin by adding a bit of brightness. By any means, this face mask did not heal my skin or was a magic fix. None of these products are. So it's just better to reduce that expectation. Um, your acne and your breakouts will go on its natural course. None of this can really speed up or fix it overnight. These things take time, so it's really important to be patient with your skin. But I did find that this face mask really helped um, with the healing process of it, just because it added a coolness to my skin and also really increased the brightness of my skin, added some more of a glow. And I loved putting this face mask in the fridge. Um, so when I did use it, it was like nice and cool and it felt like a little ice pack on your face, which definitely does help reduce any redness or inflammation. So I definitely love this Kiehl's face mask and it's just really nice, gentle, and did not further aggravate my skin. So highly recommend this one. Uh, next, I'll be sharing one of my favorite face washes. It's by CeraVe. It's this foam cleansing face wash. So I have a cute mini size bottle, but it does come in a big bottle, but I have this bottle so I just refill it whenever I go on my trips, which is super convenient. I love this face wash just because it has a really nice foamy texture to it and it really cleans your skin gently without drying it out or stripping it of anything. So it's definitely a really nice face wash to travel with. After cleansing my skin, I love to step in with this Kiehl's oil-free um, cream. It's just a super nice gel texture, which is perfect for humid climates. And if you're prone to oily skin, it does not further make your skin have a greasy appearance. So it's really nice for oil control and also acne as well. So I really like this Kiehl's um, cream and I love how it's super nice and light and really you don't really feel it on your skin and it's so important to keep your skin hydrated and well moisturized when it is going through an acne breakout so super important to always keep your skin moisturized the last product which is super important for protecting your skin from the sun is this la roche posier liquid fluid sunscreen I love this sunscreen just because it adds a layer of protection to your skin and it's super important to protect your skin when you are going through any breakouts just because you wanna, wouldn't want to further have the scars or marks darken and it's just super important to protect your skin from any UV rays especially if you are in a warm climate. You always want to keep your skin protected and sunscreen is known to be one of the best anti-aging so definitely do not skip up on your sunscreen it is an essential product um, in your skincare so those are all the products that i used to help heal my skin when i was in mexico city all the products were clean and also just making sure that my skin was hydrated um, well cleansed and well protected from the sun was really important i was definitely on top of my skincare routine and also it takes time and it's important to be mindful of that, that your skin has a natural course that it will heal and sometimes you can't rush this process. So it did take a few weeks, but afterwards my skin was looking much more back to how it usually does. So these products definitely helped um, during that transition for my skin for me. Your skin is your largest organ on your body, so it's really important to take good care of it. Um, to nourish yourself with healthy foods. I was also really mindful of the food I was eating during my breakout time and breakout time. <laughs> um, that I was just eating close to my normal diet as I would at home, which was a healthy, well-balanced, whole food diet. And I was limiting the amount of sugar I consumed because I definitely have a really sweet tooth and I love to eat desserts. So it's definitely something I have to limit and watch out on. Um, 
you know, when you're on vacation mode, you just want to eat whatever you want. And although that can be fun sometimes, but that could have actually led to my breakout. So definitely be more mindful of that. And also just staying really hydrated and drinking lots of water while I was out exploring and traveling. So definitely stay hydrated and protect your skin. Make sure it's well moisturized and clean and enjoy yourself wherever you are in the world and keep traveling, keep exploring. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.